Hi everyone, Peyton here with River City Gun Fun. It's pretty cold here in Eastern Washington, so we'll start this video inside and then head outside to shoot. Today I'll be talking about the Harrington and Richardson Trapper Model 7-Shot 22 Revolver. Let's safe to check the gun. It's good. Let's bring the camera in and take a closer look. These guns were made from 1924 up to the beginning of World War II, 1940-1941 thereabouts. And they were just a really affordable small gun uh, meant for tending one's trap lines, as the name would suggest. And for that purpose, they were expertly adapted, just dispatching small animals at close range. Uh, they're not really great for target work. I'll, I'll get into that more later. And uh, today they're just a really cool and unique collector's piece. Let's bring it in and take a closer look at some of the features. We have some walnut grips. Originally, there would have been a point here with a flare to fit into the webbing of your hem. Uh, it wasn't terribly ergonomic for everyone, so it's not uncommon to find that point sanded or ground off, as in this case. And uh, you'll notice that the gun is a uh, freewheeler, so there's nothing to stop the cylinder from spinning when the gun is unloaded and uncocked. When you pull the uh, double action trigger, the cylinder will lock into place, or if you cock the hammer for single action. Additionally, you'll notice a hammer-mounted firing pin of the wedge style, indicative of rim fire. These are seven-shot guns, which is kind of unique, and it's a 22 caliber. They simply said 22 cal uh, today. Everything is branded 22 long rifle generally, but a 22 long rifle won't actually fit into the cylinder. The bullet will stick out the front, and uh, you won't be able to insert the cylinder back into the gun. So these would have been used with either 22 long or 22 short. And you'll notice on the other side of the gun, sort of a port here. And there's two schools of thought on this. You could either load the gun through there, or it was meant simply as a viewing chamber to see whether the gun was loaded or unloaded. Generally, loading was achieved by pressing this lever here, which would allow you to pull out the cylinder pin. And this one is... Very stiff. Let's get a better grip and show you how to take the cylinder out. So press that lever there and pull out the cylinder pin, just like so. Then it comes off the right side of the gun and that will reveal the seven shot cylinder. It is very small and you can see it there, all seven holes. So you can load the gun by just filling up the cylinder placing it back in the gun, like so. And if this gun were loaded, you'd have to kind of pull the hammer back. It doesn't have a dedicated half cock, but um, you'll have to pull the hammer back just to get the um, firing pin out of the way of the back of the cartridge so it can fit in there nicely. And then the firing pin will actually sit in between the primers or the rims of those cartridges not unlike a cap and ball with that um, middle resting position. Continuing with the features of the gun, sights are rather simple, simply a groove notch in the back and a blade front sight. And the sight picture actually isn't visible with the hammer down in double action like a lot of other uh, earlier double action guns of the time. Um, more on that double action trigger. It's extremely heavy and quite unpleasant, probably 20, 25 pounds. And because the gun is so small and hard to get a grip on in the first place, it feels like a lot heavier than it actually is. Additionally, the gun has a really cool look. It has quite a few pins, five or six pins there. And on the opposite side, they kind of stick out a little bit, which just makes for a rather cool look in my opinion. It has a six inch octagonal barrel. Um, H&R actually made a Hunter model identical to this gun with an 8 or 10 inch barrel making for a rather interesting and almost hilarious looking gun. But overall the Trapper model is just a really cool, uh, unique gun and as I said earlier, just a, a fun gun to collect and admire. So let's uh, load this gun up and take a shooting. Okay, we're going to get the H&R Trapper loaded up here. I wanted to get a quick shot of the gun in its original holster. All right. So, as I mentioned earlier, pull out the cylinder pin. Just like so. 
the cylinder comes out the right side of the gun. And we'll load it up with some 22 CB shorts. And just put them in the back side of the cylinder, like so. And now we'll replace the cylinder in the gun. There we go. And you'll notice the freewheeling cylinder no longer spins freely. That's because the firing pin rests in between two of those rounds there. So let's head over to the range. We'll be shooting at a pretty close distance, maybe 15, 20 feet. I'll do a couple shots in double action and then uh, do the remainder in single action. Here we go. Okay, there we have it. We've spent our seven to unload, pull out the cylinder, pull the hammer back so it's out of the way of those casings, and you can use the cylinder pin to poke those empty cases out. And that's how it's done. So just a really cool, really fun piece to add to the collection. There you have it guys, the H&R Trapper model. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more gun reviews.